Um, real ship design is what we will call this. What we did here is we made a ship. We put shields on it. We put weapons on it. We uh, even put another, like, there's an oxygen. I don't know. There are other things, too. But I'll I'll just take shields and weapons, really. That's all I that's all I'm looking for right now. Let's put Freeper on board. Hey, go for Zos. Very quick runs tonight. Alright, Varen. This one's a winning run, unfortunately. So like uh hmm. While I am putting you on board for your suffering, unfortunately you will probably win. Alright, Findle is going to be our Zoltan. It makes sense to me. And our crab. Actually, I just called it a crab, didn't I? <laughs> that just, like, naturally came out of my mouth. Alright, our crab's just gonna be Emma. I don't know. I f it seems rude to, like, decide that Emma has a different name all of a sudden. Emma seems like a perfectly good name for a crab. Mantis. For... <laughs> For Mantis. <laughs> hey, Gorehammer. The most important thing to do on the Stealth Bee is to buy Cloak 3. Well, yes, but that costs 50 scrap. So somehow you have to get 50 scrap. Also, we still would have died to that ship that we ran into. Because it had cloaking, so... Well, yeah. You guys have a burst laser 2 coming at us. The small bomb, it looks like. Got one shot off. Small bomb hits our sensors. No big deal. Those repaired. Five fuel. Four missiles and seven scrap. Okay. I don't like to let people surrender but like if it's gonna be like that i guess i have to hey, absurd entropy how are you get the scrap recovery arm i'm on it cynical razor i'm on it you guys are trying to get away they've got a little laser thing and a little drone thing uh, i think the first salvo goes like three here one there Ooh. Um, now I probably put everything into piloting. And from here, we can go with whatever we want. Nice. Hey, Revo, how you doing today? Aeroflur is digging the glasses. I look like a very kind and very depressed physics teacher. I <laughs> What? Okay. I'll take it. I think. Will I take? I don't know. Ten jumps to get to here. It's a lot of jumps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 10 jumps to get to there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sure. Do a loop up here first. We can actually get a store if we want. Like, sort of the only things that we're buying are uh, long-range scanners. And... I don't even know if we, like, buy a Flak 1. If they're... Ooh. And a better weapons guy. Buy a better weapons guy, maybe. Than Emma. Sexism. 
obviously. Typical streamer. Um, that didn't go so bad. Sector 1 store is such an interesting thing. Because, like, you're never going to really be happy about buying something huge out of Sector 1, right? It's just not going to happen. You just want to buy, like, shields 2 and maybe an engine point? That's, like, your Sector 1 budget. Hey, Donny Al. How you doing today? It's the weekend. <laughs> Marauder. I felt better about risking that event because of the Sector 1 store. I'm thinking a lot right now about the Sector 1 store. The Sector 1 store and I have some thinking to do. We don't have to go to it at all. I'm pretty sure we can bypass it for another jump. Thanks, Marauder. I like these glasses. Faerun always buys Scrap Recovery Arm in first sector. This strat is 100% win. Imagine how often you'd win if you didn't do that then. Like 150% of the time or something. It's even more. Your chair broke and nearly killed you. Gosh. I'm glad you're okay. Seems like sort of a jerk thing to do, to be honest. I'm glad that my chair has never done such things. Did you, like, treat your chair particularly poorly or something? Did it have reason to... To wish for your your death. Caius is always suspicious of chairs. I didn't realize I needed to be, but now I'm starting to think maybe, maybe I should be too. Wow. <laughs> I think I can relate to that, that feeling, Tony Al. Okay, we got nothing from this at all. Literally a dead jump. I'm not repairing hull, I'm not buying anything. The weapons pre-igniter looks cool. Alright. Not literally a dead jump. Oh, I could have bought shields too, I guess. There's a chance that there's another store still... Trying to get away. They would. I wanted to try spreading damage out there. I want to like trick the pilot into leaving piloting. If that makes sense. Shit, I'm gonna hook that up. Helper beans for uh helper beans are hilarious. Has a 17 second charge time. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to it. We're not gonna hook it up. 
I'm probably going to sell it. Let's be realistic. No scrap recovery arm. I'm sorry, Dark Steel Spork. The spork is the ultimate eating utensil. I'm glad to have you here. Maybe if we got shields too, we could run the halberd. Real ship design. All right, that's a good point. That's a good. Uh, that's a good point. I'll be good. I'll be good. My ship name is shaming me for the decisions I am attempting to make. <laughs> I thought he'd, like, stop attacking my piloting, but apparently that's not what's going on. Okay, nice little win. Get some uh, sparring in as well. Those guys probably had some, like, pent-up resentment going on or something like that. Nice to get that out on the, uh, on the field in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's a useful problem-solving tool. Totally agree with my eating utensil evaluation. The only thing more powerful than the spork is the hand. And unfortunately in modern society, eating with the hands is commonly frowned upon. My headphones sit a little bit further off my ears now. It's sort of weird. Because they're like, they're on my glasses. It's not uncomfortable, it's just different. You immediately notice a rebel ship chasing what appears to be a civilian transport. Those bastards. Wait, but the transport is carrying Federation loyalists. I will aid the Federation ship. We, wow, they have a lot of firepower going. In a bad run to be my med bay or my oxygen. Otherwise, things are going all right. Double rewards. With 61 scrap right now, we have a firebomb and a halberd beam in the bank. This has been possibly the best sector one I've ever played. Let's do like a, a little count. That's 111. This sells for what, like 30 and 20? Like, it's like 160 some scrap in sector one. Seems crazy. Seems crazy. going to attack a pirate ship before he can jump away. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Absolutely none. Just making up words as far as I can tell. I know what wine is. I didn't know you could like run computer programs on that though.
I don't drink enough wine these days. I've become sort of a beer guy, but I feel like I'm like pigeonholing myself into one alcoholic beverage. Let's go civilian sector because Zoltan controlled sucks and because civilian sector has lots of stores and we have lots of scrap. Can start thinking about a big system or we can even do something really sweet with the halberd beam maybe. Nine jumps. You know what? I think I might just take these nebula jumps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab piloting two. I think that that comes up quite often. I'm not going to upgrade sensors. Should I upgrade sensors? I don't know. We've already gotten, I think, two events. We're having piloting two would have given us free stuff. In this run. And we're headed into a nebula. I'm pretty sure there are other events in a nebula, which are the same. Very happy about this jump. So the nebula jumps, I believe. Whoa! Shans! I will more show it to you as well. Thanks so much for four months in a row. Much appreciate the support. Look at that sub goal go. Two out of six already. This is incredible. Oh, gosh. I woke up very early today. I woke up at... Hold on. You guys might want to cover your ears because this is going to probably unsettle a lot of you. I woke up... Mm. I have to say this with my eyes closed because I just have to... Mm. Yeah. I'm remembering what sleep is like. I woke up. I woke up at 9 a.m. this morning. Unbelievable. It's a miracle that I'm here. Is this engines? Do we need engines for that one? Piloting? Sensors? I feel like we need sensors for that one. Let's get sensors. I like that we got sensors right before we jumped to a store. That was uh, good thinking. Uh, nothing in this store, really. Backup battery. I'll buy a backup battery. Stops it from appearing under systems and it's not that bad. It's like, okay. I'm not in love with the backup battery yet, but it's okay. Trist? I don't know. Sounds like you're having a great weekend. I'll attack the automated ship to get to the station.
Gonna wait for this to come up, I think. I got bored. Were those like cashews? <clears throat> One more engines bar. Purple! Agvomo show to you as well. Thanks very much for three months in a row. Something with Twitch Prime. I found out today, and I didn't know this. So Amazon Prime lets you uh, link to your Twitch account, and you get Twitch Prime, which is, like, special Twitch stuff. And the only stuff that I knew about, and this is because I'm, like, just, I don't know. I'm not, I, I don't know these things, I guess, apparently. I thought I did, but I didn't. But the, the thing I knew about was that Twitch Prime let you sub for free to any streamer of your choice every month. And what I didn't realize is... I'm pretty sure that Twitch Prime makes it so you don't see ads on channels, but the broadcaster still receives revenue as though you were watching those ads. So it's like an ad block that is still supporting the channel. That's really cool. I didn't know that that was a thing. I was watching a stream earlier today, um, and the guy explained that. Why do... I don't understand what's wrong with the third basic laser. Just for some reason, I can't make it shoot. Ooh, we set stuff on fire. That could have perhaps been a bio kill. I'd be more patient. Okay, we made it through the nebula jumps. I'm not sure whether those were worth it or not. Definitely haven't gotten any use out of the um, piloting sensors. Sensors upgrade. Okay, these missiles are slow enough that our lasers went off before they could fire, which is cool. That's a fire. They have no med bay, they have a mantis trying to put it out. I think that's a bio kill. Come on, fire. Come on, fire. Come on, fire. Yeah. So we can either watch the fire burn their ship down, or... Uh, interesting. They have five systems left. We're okay. What's our experience on Emma? Emma's already level two. weapons specialist on the ship typically levels up pretty quickly. You don't believe anything I say about Twitch Prime anymore. Pretty sure it's true. Did I see the Beaks discover yesterday that PUBG is a soul of the game? I did not. What, is, what does that mean? Did he hide in a room for a very long time? Oh, their oxygen is gone, so they're just going to run out of oxygen before the fire can do anything. That's cool. PUBG is a solved game. All you do is kill the enemies and uh, not let them kill you.
It means he encountered a bunch of cheaters, Nick as well. Yeah, PUBG has been having some issues with people cheating. There's a god in PUBG, and their name is Blowjob Leet. I'm glad that gods are rebranding themselves for the internet age. Because if his name was like Demeter or Jupiter, like that just, that would just be sort of weird in the context of the video game. I'm glad that the deities have uh, embraced internet culture in such a way. Literally every shooter has cheaters. I feel like PUBG has uh, has a larger problem with that because of how it's set up. Like you can't really, I don't know. You can't really play custom games in PUBG, I feel like. Like you sort of can, but If you want to, like, play Counter-Strike with your friends, right, you get your friends and you have a team and then you, like, can play against another team. Maybe they're randoms, maybe not, who knows. But it's it's possible for you to create an environment where you're playing against other people and there's nobody cheating and you can keep playing, whatever. But in PUBG, because it's 100 players per game, it's just not really feasible for most people to populate a game with people who aren't, who they know aren't cheating. And then because of how the game is structured, you're going to run into that cheater at some point if you're doing well, and they're going to kill you. And that's going to be your experience of the round. And that's like the entire round. It's not like you respawn and get to do stuff again. Like, yeah. Yeah. Puppy's marketplace has encouraged cheating to earn then sell rewards. I had not even thought about that. Those people are probably making money doing that. They're probably play, yeah, huh? Well, no fucking wonder they're doing it. <laughs> um, that seems like something that maybe Blue Hole needs to take a look at. You guys want me to buy the burst laser two or the scrap recovery arm? Which would you prefer? I think I'm gonna buy the burst laser two. You can call me a coward if you'd like. Gets me another shot in the salvo. The salvo is a little delayed now, though. Yeah, I sort of had to sell the firebomb there, I think. It's hard to fit it on my bar with this ship anyway. I'm gonna take six fuel for 12 scrap. I think it's sort of questionable whether that's worth doing. There are a lot more stores. We don't have anything to do with those though. Let's hit up the nebula. I already spent money on piloting and sensors, so hopefully those will do something. I also have a backup battery, which is actually pretty good in a nebula system. It's good because nebulas have events where you get half system power, but the backup battery still creates two bars of power. So it's like twice as effective. sort of a nasty enemy. Uh, should be fine now though. I'm gonna take out their piloting. And we'll go after their shields next. I'm 
And I believe they're dead. Look at this and you know your answer to the PUBG cheaters. Ivory school uniform set female starting at $1,116. Holy fuck. Yeah, I mean, they shouldn't do that. That's just really dumb. Like, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Literally every shooter has cheaters no matter the loot system. I mean... <laughs> I don't think PUBG had anywhere near this sort of cheater problem before. Is the is the marketplace somewhat recent? They started having like paid loot boxes somewhat recently, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm overestimating how big a deal it is in terms of making people cheat. I'm sure that some of those guys are just there to make money, though. It must be. You can't even, like, you can't even blame someone for that. Like, it's not illegal. They don't have to like the game. It's not their responsibility to make sure the game's fun for other players. Um, And they're making money doing it. And it's probably, like, somewhat enjoyable for them. And they may not have a better job available to them. And people are paying them for the cosmetic stuff that they're able to generate. So, like... Like, it's just, it's just Blue Hole's job to make it so that isn't a thing a person wants to do, so that the game can be good. Um. <laughs> PUBG had free cheaps ever since it began. It's probably getting more and more bad as more and more people get into it and the price of some things goes up and up. I don't know. I know Diablo 3 had a similar problem with its real money auction house. That's the only game that I've played in like the last some number of years that's had a real money auction house sort of thing. And a bunch of people cheated and sold the stuff they got. Got ourselves a rock man. Let's put the rock man on piloting, actually. It seems early enough in the game that we can get away with that. And Freeper can switch over to shields. Nice to have a rock on piloting. You don't want to lose your pilot, and the rock is uh, not very interested in moving anywhere else for any reason. I mean, even if you ask him to, he probably won't. Could upgrade to a six shot uh, volley right now, which seems insane for Sector 2. That's the reason that I haven't, it just seems like overkill. Hey, Ragon! How you doing? Oh my. Oh, that's a very good reward. Is John Oliver playing FTL? Really? I don't think I look like John Oliver. Does PUBG's Terms of Service ever mention the cheating of this nature? I'm sure that it does. 
Okay, so the cheating that's going on is people are using aim hacks and speed hacks. They're running around, killing everyone in the game, and getting a bunch of in-game currency, which they're then selling, basically. I wonder if people are just running bots. I wonder if they're even playing the game. It wouldn't surprise me that much if... They've got to just be running bots. Yeah, I, so I suspect that, like, one guy is sitting somewhere, and he has, like, 50 PUBG accounts playing on multiple systems, and they're just botting. They're running around the map. They're, like, picking up a gun, running around the map, killing everyone using, like, wall hacks and aim botting and speed hacks, and he's generating currency, in-game currency, from those 50 accounts, or however many accounts, and then he uses the currency to sell for real money. And he probably makes quite a lot of money doing that. And it's like scalable, basically as much as he wants. Like he could do 500 accounts and I don't really see why it wouldn't work. Um, pretty sure he's buying game keys that are acquired illegally. Um, but in terms of actual like law, like whether he could go to jail for doing that, I'm pretty sure that I think in china there may be laws against that i'm pretty sure in the u.s there would be no law against it he got hit hard by bots last night and it was so sad seeing him lose faith in his favorite game well yeah like it's bullshit <laughs> <laughs> The game developers need to make that not happen. And Beagle is someone who has invested, you know, he bought the game and has invested a lot of time into, like, wanting to play the game. It's quite reasonable to, to be upset about that. SM, SZ, M, B O I. Holy fuck, my dyslexia is here today. S Z M B I O N T. Thank you very much for the sub with Twitch Prime. Zumbiont. Zumbiont? I'm gonna go with Zumbiont. Thank you very much for the sub. If loot boxes were categorized under gambling, the games might actually have to get protected against cheaters. They were categorized under gambling. Those games might actually have to get protected against cheaters. I'm not quite sure what you're saying. Um, did you know that if he gets... I just put a sub goal on the screen. This Johns. I wanted to make it visually apparent that I care about people subscribing and supporting the stream because I do a lot. That's all that it's there for. A goal every day is to grow the community. I don't know how to make a follower goal. I'd love to have a follower goal too, but I'd have to like, ooh, my bot could do it. My bot could keep track of followers. Maybe. I'd love to have a follower goal up there too. But yeah, it's just a goal of mine is to keep the channel growing. So there you have it. Hey, Uzi! LVD. I've actually known Geeks and Jam for quite a lot longer than I've been collaborating with Filthy. Not that much longer. A few months. But yeah, we have our, our little corner of the internet here where we play our strategy games and lots of us know each other. It's a fun little community. Mm. I think the setup's fine. I mean, we're just gonna like shoot their weapons. There you go. Ooh, the missile launcher is still there. Let's drop. Oh, we did get it. Cool. I'm 
if they're piloting down, our next salvo is a guaranteed hit. We're going to go back to weapons because that's repairing and we want it dead. And then they're... It's all over next time. Okay. This conversation is really interesting to me. So let me try to keep up on that in chat. If there's legislation in place to protect earnings from gambling, people trying to game the system might end up punished. There's legislation in place to protect earnings from gambling. I don't think there is, really. If loot boxes got categorized as gambling, I think a lot of people wouldn't legally be able to play these games, which would be sort of weird, because it's not going to be enforced. Like, in the state of Washington, online gambling in general is actually a felony. It's like a big crime, but it has never been enforced. Nobody has ever been arrested for that. And it wouldn't be enforced for PUBG, I don't imagine, unless something big changed. So that stuff would be... That stuff would be weird. I think, like, okay, there are two ways that I see to deal with this. One is, like, you need security on your game. If you're running an economy in your game, which translates into real money, you need to prevent people from breaking into that game. You have to like, you have to like, like think about how a bank works. You're not gonna let people like walk into a bank and take all the money out of it. That's just like, hmm, not a good idea. So, <laughs> so if you're going to have a way that playing the game translates into making real money. You need security systems on the game so that people can't be hacking and botting and things like this. Or maybe it needs to be a single player. I don't I feel like the devs could also just make it like a single player experience so people aren't affected by the bots as much, but that seems like ethically wrong and also a poor solution. Um, so that's one thing you could do or two which is completely imaginary and is never going to happen. You could expect, like, governments to enforce rules to punish these. That's not happening. That's not going to happen. Um, but, like, three is just don't tie your game to real-life currency. Because it makes the developers a ton of money, but it makes the game shit for the people who are playing it. It's just, like... It just makes the game worse. <laughs> if people are earning money by playing your game they're going to work out ways to make the game miserable for other people to play it um a lot of the time playing gambling online is a felony um online poker in washington state is a felony first i don't know that much more about that law thanks for the follow is all welcome Do I think people who use Rebel Fleet Jump preview mods should go to jail? No, I think that uh, the FPL devs should put it in their game. <laughs> in PUBG, you can drop only seven crates a week, but there's no limit on how many accounts a person can have go for this. So you can have a thousand accounts, 7,000 crates a week. Major question. You get Indian currency, which gives you the loot crates for no real money. The marketplace selling it for real money is based on Valve's Steam platform. Therefore, it's a Steam issue, not a PUBG one. That's really complicated. That's like... Hmm. That gets really weird, doesn't it? Poker is quite clearly a game of skill. Mike... I mean, you and I agree 100%, but I have tried to have that conversation with people so many times that I just don't want to ever have it again. So, <laughs> I agree 100%. Let's move on, though. Good anti-cheats have to be really intrusive to work. They pretty much need to have control over your PC. Yeah. The limitations of anti-cheating programs are really tough. Like, in general, um, controlling stuff that happens on computers is going to be, like, very difficult. What I'd say you... Okay. 
One way that I think you could approach a problem as somebody who has studied statistics and things like that is I think it would be, and I've, I've never seen anyone do this, so maybe I'm misunderstanding something and it's harder than I think, but it seems to me like it wouldn't be that hard to categorize results, um, like look at results that accounts have and identify accounts which were cheating in that way, like this account outlies in some way. Maybe it just doesn't do anything, though. It's really easy right now to look at PUBG accounts and see, oh, this guy has 80% headshot. Um, that guy's cheating. And I think you have basically no false positives. But maybe it... Maybe it's like a temporary solution rather than a, a permanent one. I don't know. I think it's a pretty interesting puzzle. There's a lot to it. And it's definitely something that needs some work. Trying to escape. Well, okay. Good luck. Change category to talk shows. We're all XCOM players here. I think everyone agrees poker takes skill. Hmm. Not everyone. Sir Dogged, I've always had astigmatisms in both eyes, and they just, like, they don't bother me enough for me to bother getting glasses, basically. Like, my vision's been just as bad for the last 10 years, and I got glasses, like, some number of years ago. But the astigmatisms change slightly, so it's, it's bad in slightly different ways, so my old prescription doesn't work. So to fix it, I have to go get a new prescription. It's like, it's not bad enough to bother. But yeah, when I'm staring at an FTL screen for 12 hours a day, it starts to irritate me. So I went and got glasses. Another important thing to consider is that any money made would probably be locked up in a Steam account. You might be able to sell an item for 1k, but the only thing you can buy with that is Steam games. That's interesting. There's probably some sort of laundering going on to uh, to get it out to real, real money somewhere. Do you guys know about the Diablo 2, like, duped item selling sites that turned out to be, like, run by, I don't, I think it was an ex-Blizzard employee who had worked on the game or something? When there's a lot of money to be had, sometimes things get really pretty complicated. Because if you put a lot of money in front of people... <laughs> Like, they can they can work out some pretty creative ways to take that money. A, a simple solution is just to not put the money in front of them to begin with. In my opinion. <laughs> but, yeah. Problem with statistical analysis is that after the initial implementation, the cheaters would just figure out what the allowed limits are and program their bots inside those limits. Yeah, the blind name. That's sort of the big problem. Although, on the other hand... If you have those limits, now those cheaters aren't able to ruin the games of other players as much. Like if you get flagged when you're getting 15 kills a game, all of a sudden that account isn't nearly as impactful on other people's games because you can't code it to, you know, break the game quite as much. Why can't we talk about a good video game like Faster Than Light? This is a really good video game. It doesn't have the microtransaction problem, that's for sure. Can the limits on your account that would mark you as a cheater be safely skirted while still making the act of cheating profitable? It's like a big war if you do it my way. Astigmatism represent? Hell yeah. Astigmatism is uh, not the best thing in the world. I think I'd trade it for uh, not astigmatism, if I could. <laughs> but, hey, I'm not ashamed to have it.
Glasses make people smart. Do I sound extra smart today, Aerofler? This really is a thing that I care about a lot. So online poker is maybe the only online game where the people providing the game to you have actually been forced by the player base to stop their customers from cheating. Um, online poker has had events in the past where people have broken the software and worked out how to see what cards other players had and things like that. And they have blown up and like one person being able to do that has put an entire companies out of business because there there's no illusion in online poker that your players like don't care if the other people are cheating right everybody gets that it's a pretty big deal if people can cheat while playing poker against you and so for me as a poker player to come and see these other games which are getting tied to real money and having a bunch of cheaters show up, that's very familiar to me. Um, I've seen botting rings in online poker. I've played against bots in online poker. They've gotten flagged and removed. I've had money refunded to me because I had played in the past against bots. And so I've seen how a poker site has dealt with that. Um, online poker software is extremely... Uh, it's basically like spyware, like it sees what's going on on your computer, which is like sort of an uncomfortable thing to let software do as a gamer. But as a poker player, I was okay with it because I trusted the company and understood how necessary it was. So I've like I've seen this war happen in a in a game where it really mattered before now, and it's interesting to see what happens what happens next. I just sound normal now. Thanks, Squeaks. Fabio is one probably the most significant game of the decade in terms of its circumstance appeal and overall player base. The cheating is only going to increase. It's also a really interesting game in how many people watch it. So when there are cheaters at the top of the game, so many people are seeing that. So I'm really interested to see how general players react to it. Remember one site where an admin was playing could see all the cards. Yeah, that was... I think it had a blue in its name. That, that site, like, it got found out and the site went out of business. Was it, like, Ultimate something? Ultimate Bet or something? That was, like, a huge deal. Yeah, I played uh, Full Ring, No Limit Hold'em on Poker Stars mostly, Mike. I played, uh, I won a free roll and got up to playing like 400 through 1k No Limit was my like grind game. Ultimate bet and absolute poker. You miss IRL Steve streams where I bench 200 pounds. I got up to benching 150 once in my life. Never 200. <laughs> my glasses aren't quite wizardly enough. Unfortunately, we're stuck with them at this point. Unfortunately. Ship's sort of good, just by the way. My Revo. Got up to 50 no limit. That was still something. I played 50 no limit for quite a while. I got really stuck at 100. Struggled to move up from there. That was also like 50 to 100 no limit was where you started making a living and so sort of the drive to get higher 
lessened for a lot of people, I feel like. But I got lucky to meet people who were playing higher, and that sort of carried me to push myself further and get up to mid and like low high stakes. Oh god. Yeah, the biggest pot I ever lost was at a 2k buy-in table. I remember that pot well to this day. <laughs> when is mass laser bad? Um, I don't know. When was I most active? Before Black Friday. I never really understood the, like, knit fest thing about full ring like one why do people care if you can just like i didn't understand why people cared because you can like beat people who play too tight it's not that hard and like yeah no mostly that i never understood why people cared <laughs> It was mostly just about table selection. I'm gonna get missiled here, and we have no evasion. Never mind. That missile launcher is terrible. I'm. I know it was rhetorical, but now I'm trying to think of a situation where mass laser is actually bad. I think there are probably some. God, there must be one somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there might just not be one. It's a challenge, though. Now I'm trying to come up with a situation where you wouldn't want mass laser. Pretty much always played 6 max, 100, and 200, no limit. More grind equals more chance of autopilot. I could get a little bit autopilot-y. Uh-oh. Intruder drowned on my weapons. Alright, so I try not to take too long to win this one. Terrible for Salvo. Oh, that's an Ion Drone, even. Um, interesting. Do we have to run here? Okay, they're out of weapons. And the drone is dead. And he's coming back. <laughs> he's back for more. All right. Oh my God. I hate Ion Intruder Drones so much. Got there eventually. A five burst of lasers would be bad versus the boss. Well, yeah, if you if you only have five lasers, then eventually you're going to run into ships which can beat that. But, I mean, your lasers keep getting better and better. So by the time you're against the boss, you expect, like, probably eight or something. I want to explain what faster than light is about in three or less words. Crab walk. 
It's only one word. Um, and crab walk, crab walk, crab walk. Uh, crab walk. Ooh, crab walk, crab walk. I'm the best. Crab walk. How did the late night rock sea run go? I got to the final sector and uh, memed a little bit too hard and died on the flagship fight. I like intentionally tried to beat stage three with borders and it didn't go very well. <laughs> We'd love a community mod that would allow co-op for this game. Yeah, I think this game would be really cool to play co-op, really cool to play multiplayer as well, like PvP, I think, in this game could be made to be really good. You'd have to balance it, right, so that, like, certain strategies weren't just way better than other strategies, and so that the actual fights had a little bit of variety in them. But well-balanced, I think, PvP in this game would be incredible. It's such a good base to build on, this game. I'm gonna buy shields three, because why not? That can't work out, why not? Thanks to the fellow Malcolms. Welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoying the show. Hey Leonette, how you doing? Glasses do not make the nerd, the nerd makes the glasses. Yeah, I turned into a nerd um, quite a long time ago. My grandfather, um, he passed away a couple years ago. In one of the last conversations that I had with him, he, he got sort of teary-eyed and he apologized to me because when I was like four or five or something, he saw me playing chess and said, oh, you're being a little bit of a nerd, right? And he didn't like mean it in a bad way. He was just like weirded out that his four or five year old grandson was spending his time like playing chess. Like he didn't understand. And like apparently he had been holding in his heart for many years after that this like internal guilt about saying that like he thought that he came off as saying it meanly or cruelly and that he had made me not want to do that as much and i was like oh granddad i i was already a nerd i'm still a nerd i'm okay with it and i love you like it's okay <laughs> but yeah i, I <laughs> if you think the glasses are what's making me a nerd right now um that's 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 not that's not it. Being a nerd for a while. If anything, I stopped playing chess because the other people weren't nerdy enough. They wanted to, like, do things other than read chess books sometimes, and it was weird to me. He only called me a nerd because I was playing the Sicilian defense. No, I was an I was a an e4 e5 player, and when, whenever the white player went d4, I just like didn't understand what was going on. I was like, "What?" <laughs> That's how I was in chess. I I eventually got past that, but as a child, um, I did not. Slug controlled nebula or Zoltan controlled sector. This is pretty bad. I think that we're okay against borders. We have a fairly strong crew. We've got a Mantis and a Rock here. So I'm going to go to the Zoltan controlled sector. While Zoltan shields are bad, maybe the worst thing about the Zoltan controlled sector is the boarding events. My grandfather is like one of my... If I, if I get to old age and I can look at my life and think, huh, my life's been sort of like my grandfather's was, he would be proud of me. 
I'm gonna be a really, really happy person. I had a wonderful grandfather. I have, I'm just really lucky in general with my parents and grandparents in general. Everybody's sort of amazing in my family. I, I try to live up to it. Okay, this looks like a bio kill. Very nice fire. Yeah, it's a bio kill. All right, cool. So this is why I'm pretty sure the burst laser two is better than the flak one. Because you can't bio kill like this with a flak one. It's just not gonna happen. It doesn't set fire to things, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My last words on my deathbed will be me blaming one of my Twitch mods. Kindle's not even a mod, though. <laughs> Thanks, Core Hammer. Steve's the best. Thanks, Beast. Do slug ships tend to have better weaponry than usual? Slug ships are pretty scary. They have a lot of events where you're losing either your hacking system or your, like, your oxygen or engines or something like that, which is bad for trying to fight against enemy ships. And then they have cloaking a ton. I haven't personally noticed that their weapons are better than other ships, but I'd believe it. Wouldn't surprise me. Hey, Morgan. Poor guy died putting out the fire. Yeah, they're doing the best over there. You know, it's too bad. These guys never did anything to me personally. I'm just here having to exterminate them and take the valuable resources from their craft. I guess that's war though. enemy crew is pretending like their entire ship isn't on fire. <laughs> oh god. We don't have to psychoanalyze this. I'm too emotional right now to get into this. Slugs get mind control as well, yeah. The one thing they don't get is boarding, right? Which is like, if you can deal with borders, which probably if you're like You've got some time in the game under your belt, and they're pretty good at doing things. You can probably deal with borders in Sector 4 and 5. They're worth investing a bit in. Like, this setup is going to deal with borders pretty well. So if you can deal with borders, then heading into a slug sector, you've already made the investment to deal with borders. And when they're not spending any money on those systems and spending on other stuff, that's going to make them a little bit harder to beat, maybe. Watching them suffocate nets us about 10 more space doll. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, a pulsar fight. Ooh, against the combat drone. Um probably wanna take their weapons out now. And their drone. If we can. Ouch. Okay. We're not going to be able to bio kill them with them at three hull, so. Let's just get this fight over with. But the button for bits move somewhere. 
Um, it's the same place for me, just on send a message. Although I'm not using the beta for Twitch. It may have moved somewhere if you're on the Twitch beta. Are there difficulty specific events in Faster Than Light? I don't think so. I think that's all the same, but I'm not sure. Do I have an Ion, Weapon, Cloak, or NG crew member? No. Wow. I feel like it's difficult not to have at least one of those. Let's hit up the store. We're rolling in with a hull repair drone to sell as well. And there's nothing here. I have had the worst stores these past few runs. Never did I imagine that it was possible for stores to be this bad. Just get over to the other one. I'm gonna leave the oxygen on to recharge for a bit. We'll use the backup battery to heal these guys because I have a backup battery. Selling hull repair drones. Holding on to hull repair drones. <laughs> You think you'd rather die unconscious from asphyxiation than burning alive in a metal box? I'm just never gonna die. A ship with pirate markings demand that you surrender. These are sad times when even the Zoltan space is beset by pirates. I found it sad. Shot down that missile, like with a laser. I don't know, it didn't get to my ship, I'm pretty sure. dead people than alive people. How true is that? How many dead people are there? Like, somebody must have run the numbers, right? Okay, I'm gonna Google this. How many dead people are there? Do the dead outnumber the living? From bbc.com. Trustworthy source. Starting point is when Homo sapiens first walked the earth about 50,000 years ago. Okay, just give me the number. I don't need the logic. Where's the number? There are 15 dead people for every person living. We surpassed 7 billion dead way back between 8,000 BC and 1 AD. All right, well, that's a fairly large range. Sometime in there, though. I wonder if the, the people who were alive at that time knew. Like they had a celebration on the day that it happened. Probably not. I guess not. And I had an happiness made a comic on it. Sad and happiness is a wonderful place. Sad and happiness would do that. Leonat plans to live forever or die in the attempt. It's a noble goal. I just realized we can't really go to this market. 
But we have 152 scrap and shields 3 already, so, like, what fuck else are we gonna do? Scrap cloaking? Burst laser 1 here. Be a nice upgrade from a basic laser, but I think cloaking is better right now. I think it's better than hacking as well. One thing that it does, which is really nice for us, is let us dive and get more out of this sector. So it's like immediately relevant. It doesn't let us repair hull, but that's okay. We can't really dive. We can sort of dive. All right. At this point, you've got to ask how people in here would want to die. How do you want to die, Caitlin? Caitlin wants to die in glory. I'm imagining you in shining armor with a sword. Yep. She's posing it. Okay. I'll be your squire. I'll die with you. We'll be like Sam and Frodo, maybe. I believe we get these jumps and then come back here and get out. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, except we're out of fuel if we do that. Let's just go to the next sector. Civilian sector. Nice. You want to freeze to death with the end of the universe. <laughs> Optimism. I like it. You only want the little death. So... In my, uh, in one of my classes once, I was like, did you know the, the French call falling asleep the little death? And then after the class, I was like, oh, that's not what the, no, that's not what the French called little death. But like, I was talking to a professor who spoke fairly good French, so I'm certain that he knew. Some people in the stream don't know what I'm talking about. They just don't get to know, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Leave me alone, please. How did that get through? Did they have two bombs? Did they hit our hull? I'm confused. Did they shoot a missile and I just missed it? I feel like I was watching the missile launcher the entire time. Maybe I wasn't. You'd love to have seen my teacher's face. He was... One of the very, like, understanding sorts of professors who just believes the best of people at all times. His face was kind and... Kind and kind. Thanks very much for the sub across Crossing Road. Agapomo Show, you as well. With Twitch Prime! With Twitch Prime. What kind of teacher was he if he didn't correct my French? He was... He was actually teaching us the... Ancient Greek Old Testament. Which is fascinating because the Old Testament was written in Hebrew, right? But then it got translated to Ancient Greek. And we were studying that document. It was a cool class. Lots of really interesting things you can look at in terms of how the translations differed between the original Hebrew and the ancient Greek attempts to translate the Old Testament. And it's an example of people trying to translate something, you know, a long time ago. <laughs> so their approach to translating wasn't necessarily the same that ours is in the modern era. Uh, that was a pretty bad burst. 
wonder if maybe we could hit them with something this time. Sort of. Okay, I'll take it. Was it the New Testament that was written in Aramaic? <sighs> Wasn't the New Testament just written in Greek? I don't know. It was the Old Testament? I don't remember this stuff. Do you know? Caitlin doesn't know. Caitlin is laughing at me having studied classics. Thanks, Caitlin. Thanks, Caitlin. I appreciate that. I have taken great joy into adulthood from my time spent studying the classics, I will have you know. Can I comment on ancient Greek quantifiers? No, I don't think I can. <laughs> that would probably not be a good thing for me to attempt to do. Hey, Emerge Peninsula. My glasses are pretty, like, noticeable on my face, aren't they? Med Bay or clones? The clone bay is typically my preference. Um, it just has a lot of events that it's good for. Um, I think it's better. It, like, does cool things with forwarding, too. But in general, I like it because of how many events it interacts with. I think that the events that it's interacting with are actually a bigger deal than the um, the difference in how good it is at healing people or keeping them alive or whatever. You just get tons and tons of events where the clone bay is good. Oops. My engines are dead. Interesting. I can maybe keep that fire going and get a bio kill. Mind control would be a bio kill here. Nope. Maybe not. Well, I don't know. If they're going to stand there, maybe the lasers will just kill them. I think they will. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. 50 scrap! Apparently we're late game. We should get better guns. Look into that. You want to die a cackling naked? I'm not sure I can read this out loud. I might have to read it quietly first. New Testament was written in Greek. Yeah. The New Testament is like, it's like a, it's even a different dialect of Greek, sort of. It's like sort of common person's Greek. It was written more for like mass appeal and ease of reading for people who didn't have Greek as their first language or weren't used to reading Greek, I think. I'm going to go ahead and say that confidently, because I'm pretty sure that's true. There's a pike beam here. Hacking is hacking. I mean, you just take hacking, I guess. We're going to another store, so I'm going to... Like, repair a bit of haul. Oh, whatever. We'll spend everything. Maybe not go to the store. Let's take this jump, and if we get some scrap to finish repairing the hull, we'll go to the store, but otherwise we'll just move on. A streamer become a wizard of love. When, I, when have I ever not been a wizard of love? Oh, we're going to talk about ancient Greek uh, bisexuality in men? I don't know if we can talk about that on Twitch, but that's a fascinating thing that I've definitely spent days of my life reading uh, scholarly articles about. Alright, so we're hacking piloting so that that's... Oh my god, they still got the missile launcher to fire. That's incredible. Yeah, we could use uh, another shot in a servo, I feel like, right now. Ok, 
Okay, maybe if we shot all of the guns, we'd have another shot in our salvo, eh? It's a thought. <laughs> Kanashi, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Should have backup batteried my engines for more evasion. Should have done it again. 21 scrap in the sector map. We've got another market. Okay, so let's take a couple of fights. Four jumps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Take three fights. Hit this market. Get the hull repaired. Get some more fuel. Maybe get a better gun if there's one on offer. And get out. Song of Songs. I think I read the Song of Songs in Greek. I don't know. That stuff is like... That was a while ago for me. Should be hacking their uh, or shooting their engines. Or I don't know. We should have like not let them get this far without being dead yet, because they're going to leave. Yeah. That was a good salvo though, and next salvo I think just kills them. Hamish the cat. Thanks very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Careful about this Zoltan. Okay. It's Alberts. How you doing? First time you join the stream and people think you're into animals. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that was under your control though, right? <laughs> I mean we welcome all sorts for the most part, I think. Attack engines or something? I'm gonna preemptively cloak. Oh, those are their shields? Oh my god. Dismiss. Big missile launcher. Nice miss. That's the backup battery right there, by the way. Mm, I'm not going to accept that surrender. Let's get the doors repaired, get this fire gone, and... To get the engines repaired a little bit so that we can leave. We don't have to take another jump if we don't want to. We can just go straight to a store, is what I meant. Um. Yeah, I have enough for a store, right? Okay, do you? 
I was aiming for weapons. That's what I wanted to shoot. How are the runs going today? We had a few terrible ones. I think we'll manage to win this as long as we get any any weapon improvement at all. Long range scanners is interesting. A burst laser one would be fine. We could also get mind control. I feel like the burst laser is the bigger improvement. It's just one more shot to the salvo, but on the other hand, it's one more shot to the salvo. We can sell one of the basic lasers. To actually get an improvement, I need another 75 scrap. Get there. No more stores in this sector, a few more fights. Like that or something. Sunflare kind of sounds like somebody's sub. I haven't heard that yet. I know the sub sound though. I know exactly what it sounds like. All right, we're gonna cloak the like more intelligent way this time around. Look that. Maybe this is the situation that burst lasers suck in? Like they just don't scale enough or something? I don't know. They're just not scaling that well. Wanna give me six fuel, a drone part, and 20 scrap? I wonder where their bomb is about to hit. They just fired a bomb at me. They still have enough hull to survive a while. I'm actually going to accept this, just because I think the rest of the fight deals us some damage, probably, if we don't. Okay, another sun fight. Four times burst laser two scales pretty well. Yes. Going to go ahead and tend to agree on that count. Might hack their weapons in this one. Well, we have to dodge this, I guess. I wonder if I managed to cloak before that bomb rolled to hit. It's sort of difficult to do. Oh, they still have a missile launcher. That's great. That's wonderful. That's what I want. Okay, we get to cloak the next missile, fortunately. Power is down. That pop-up canceled my control of my crew members. I was trying to walk out of the room that they were about to suffocate to death in. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Jumping into a fight. Let's try to get hacking back online. Come on, guys. Hey, Grand Ninja. I'm doing pretty well. I think everybody's doing pretty well. I prefer Mast Ion. I don't like Mast Ion very much. What's with the glasses? 
Uh, they help me see. Internet cracking. I got glasses this morning. When do you not suffocate to death? Um, hopefully this run. I'm gonna go with hopefully this run. Are they after my backup battery? They have a Vulcan, by the way. So, like, lol. Um. They also have a missile launcher? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where am I from? I'm in Seattle, Washington. Are they reading slash computer glasses or just glasses for close and long range situations? It is a good, uh, good sentence. Um, I have an astigmatism and these correct for that. And astigmatism is just making things sort of blurry for me at all distances. So for the most part, these are helping my vision everywhere. They're not specifically um, calibrated for computer use. They help a lot just looking around outside too. I'm pleased with them. They make it so I can see better. I guess the other place that a laser salvo sucks is the place where the player struggles to make them all fire at something, which is unfortunately a place where I live. So maybe that's something to consider. Which is unfortunately a place where I live. <laughs> um. get really bad headaches if you don't wear glasses. There's a lot of strain on my eyes too. So basically everything, if I don't correct for it, everything that I'm looking at gets seen twice. And the second time it's like slightly offset. So if I'm looking at letters or something like that, I have to use my brain to work out that they are just one letter. So that's just a bit of work. And the glasses stop me from having to do that. Plyus is sending me pictures. Awesome nerd is awesome. What the fuck is this? That looks so good. How did you do that? Maybe that should be my Halloween costume. This is a follow Ragswolf. Welcome. I sent that to Caitlin. I think she'll uh I think she'll enjoy that. All right, next up, we want a... 
I don't really want a slug controlled nebula, but I don't really want an uncharted nebula either. I don't know. We'll go. I'll grab two of these. We'll go. I'm gonna grab one of these as well. I'm gonna go into an uncharted nebula. I think there are fewer stores. We don't need stores that much. I think the ships that we fight are a little bit less frightening. Maybe. That looks so good. Joe and Ribs looking at a picture of himself. I mean, it did. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the people who are following Ragswolf are like deliberately unfollowing and then refollowing. So I, I just say thank you to everybody. You're all precious to me. little salvo there. Go after the drones next. Hey, Dungzinski. How you doing? Quickly try to rescue the crew. Double rewards and another rock man. What do we do with our rock man? I don't know. I'm going to put him like in the middle. What does he have? He's very good at shields. He's considerably better than my shields person at shields. All right. Well, that I okay. We're going to go two on doors then, I guess. I don't know what to do with crew once we get to this point. You can like put them double up on systems. With humans, they're quick enough and the ship layout's pretty good, so they can probably get anywhere that they need to go if we get boarded in a crucial room. Double up on sensors? I mean, upgrade sensors? Yeah, sure. You can man sensors. There you go. Thanks for the follow, Ragon. How's FTL today? It's doing well. It's doing okay. FTL and I are seeing eye to eye right now. I... I don't think this trade matters. I'm going to say yes, because there are more events where things ask me for fuel than there are where things ask me for drones, I think. Maybe. I, maybe not, I'm a, whatever. <laughs> Seemed like an irrelevant trade. What if I get door hacked? Hmm. It's a good point. Maybe put the human on weapons and float the mantis. I don't like floating mantis because they suck at repairs. Missile launcher went down, but then went up again. So will probably get another shot off at me. Hmm. Did everything we could do there, I think. I mean, short of hacking past the anti-drone. Thank you for the follow, follow bot. Much appreciate your support. Welcome to the stream. Sounds like a completely real account in every way. Exciting times. Oh dear, they're trying to run. Uh, these lasers are just not working. They're just not doing very much. 
Yeah, I don't know. We need more of those somehow. Mind control on the pilot would be good too. Maybe mind control would solve the problem. I have six lasers. I actually have seven. But yeah, I don't know. They're not really getting there. We're up against enemy ships with a lot of evasion and weapons which can shoot us. And it's it's a scary place out here in the in the world of faster than light. Sometimes they're even defended from hacking. I don't know. doesn't actually feel that strong. I need an like automated reloader. That might be what's missing. So the follow Robo Jumper. Welcome to the stream. me on the blurriness without glasses. You got prism glasses myself during due to very minor strabismus. Other people try my glasses and reaction has been these change nothing, but for me the slight blurriness is gone. Probably their brains just fix the blurriness, right? But it's like exhausting for your own brain to constantly be doing it day in and day out. Robo Jumper didn't follow. Robo Jumper has still not followed the stream now. I've been waiting. Every day I wait for Robo Jumper to finally follow the stream. But as of yet, we have not been deemed worthy. Store would be nice. Maybe a Flak 1. Flak 1 would be nice. You follow their vapor trails and surf onto their six o'clock. Weapons hot. Holy shit. When did FTL become like an erotic fan fiction? That's like, that's pretty hot. All right. I'm down. Yes, Robo Jumper follows about once a day. Sometimes he'll follow multiple times a day. I was being sarcastic about him not having followed. Did Peagle write that line? It sounds a lot like it, doesn't it? Wouldn't wouldn't really surprise me. Forty scrap. Where are the stores? Incredible. There has to be one Nebula store, and I think it has to be that jump. Unless I missed it somewhere in the sector. We get it. You vape. I'm going to attack the automated ship to get to the station. To 
They just have so much power in their weapons that you can't really take them down. It's crazy. Faster, Muziolik. All right, we found ourselves a wizard market. A drone recovery arm. Some missiles. Wow. These stores have just not been good. We could, like, go with a missile launcher instead of one of the basic lasers. Could also just upgrade hacking. I'd really like mind control. This is the sort of ship where, like, everything's going fine and then I lose to the flagship because it's just not actually very good. The missile launcher would take up all the rest of my power and I'd have to upgrade. Yeah, it's not worth it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Level 3 hacking and starting to hack shields might be what we need to do. Let's try it. See how it goes. Oh, we're going to have to get out of this sector first. Good to hack med bays when boarding ships. If there are people trying to heal in the med bay, the head med med bay will start to hurt them instead of heal them. Ouch. Oh, they bordered on piloting. Yeah, I see the problem. It's missed there. Okay, we're out. Um... Okay, right, pretty bad sector six. Rock controlled or abandoned, we'll go rock controlled. The orange hoodie and glasses combo is giving off a slight Gordon Freeman vibe. Uh are you asking that before or ask before or after seeing that Photoshop? Sergeant Ralph! Ogba Mo show to you as well. Thanks very much for the sub, Sergeant Ralph. I need to make this number higher, apparently. Much appreciate all you guys' support. You guys are wonderful. Thanks so much for the sub, Sergeant Ralph. Do I have, like, emotes? Oh, yeah, I've got the coolest emotes. Some Jorbs blesses in the chat for Sergeant Ralph. I'm totally stealing this from Dolphin Chemist. Just spams his own emotes everywhere. He's a genius. Uh, we want to turn that on. Level 3 hacking right now. There's a market. We want a couple of jumps first, but we do want to hit that. One, two, three, four, five. Like this. So that follows antics. 
Where are my D&D sessions hosted channel? The Beaks and Jam D&Ds are just on their Twitch. You'd have to watch the VOD on their Twitch VODs. The ones with Filthy Robot are on Filthy Robot's YouTube. YouTube.com slash Filthy Robot. No word on my bot sub. The guy I emailed is at TwitchCon right now, Dunksinski. So I wouldn't expect to hear back until after TwitchCon is done. Well, I'll see you soon, Blazing Mom. Do that. Oh, do that. Better. Pretty sure two of my lasers collided with their weapons fire there. Pretty sure. I think they have stealth weapons. I think that's why their weapons are firing while they're cloaked. Sort of bizarre. Fire at will. What's the battery do? Um, if you hit it, it gives you two extra power for, I believe, 40 seconds. And then it has a little bit of a cooldown. Wait, they, like, salvoed their weapons. That's pretty rude. With the result being that they ioned my oxygen. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Okay. We're still alive somehow. I will wait and then attack the surviving mantis. Uh oh, they turned around to attack me. That's rude. Deal with borders for a sec. Mantis repair. already exists even enemy mantis crab walk oh yeah i don't think it would be possible to make it so only friendly mantids did i will put my rock crew member on the calm cave dwelling pebble man see i paint my ship with your companions i paint my ship with you Why do you still have a missile launcher? Can you not? Okay, they have one NG. 
who's doing a lot of work right now, but hopefully not enough. And she's so strong. Uh, hack away these things. Backup battery is almost worth it by virtue of attracting borders for whatever reason. The backup battery does a lot of cool things. If you buy it, it isn't in stores anymore, so you can see a different system instead of it. More chance of getting cloaking, hacking, mind control. Um, it can get hacked, I believe. So they can target it with hacking. They can target it with borders. It can also get killed by borders, dealing you one hull damage. It's also actually good. Like, 35 scrap for two reactor bars is... A good trade here. I have come around in the backup battery. Your phone got crushed yesterday. And you have to buy a new one for almost $400. Fuck. I'm sorry. That sucks. <laughs> that. Yeah, I'm sorry. If my phone gets broken, I'm just not going to have a phone going to be my approach, but I don't really need one for any reason. Please pause while I grab your double-digit beers for the day. Um, I can't pause. It's no pause. What are you trying to, what are you trying to do to me? Trying to trick me. Dragon just doesn't have a fan. Easy game. Not everybody gets to choose not to have a phone. Stop this. Leave my poor backup battery alone. You monsters. How do I, like, not die? There's some fairly intense fights that I'm playing. Why can you still shoot missiles at me? What is going on here? How many times have I shot that? Did they cloak all of my shots or something? Oh, they did it again. Okay, let's hope that we get a good salvo off here. They hit the backup battery. Nice. They want to give me six fuel, two drone parts, and 30 scrap. I think we can do better. Another missile, I got 43 scrap. I have to give you a few more weeks, Blazemon. There is interest accumulated. At that point, I will require 1.001 .001 subs from you. It's okay though. I will treat you as a sub from now on. And I'll just waive that interest. It's a special deal. How do I feel about women who unironically use spoopy instead of spooky? 
I don't know. Do they look like Skalontons? Because, uh, that'd be weird. Sell the breach missiles, fix the hull. There's nothing to buy here. Like, I don't... I don't know. I didn't realize this game was this hard. It's a lot harder than I thought it was. Apparently. Skeletons are pretty spoopy. <laughs> I have transcended the internet on this day. Get off my guy. Jeez. These lasers are terrible. You heard it here first. Not looking forward to trying to kill the flagship with this right now. Yes! <laughs> he has to right to finish killing them. Hey, essentially surreal, how you doing today? You like the ship and I have matching outfits. Maybe that should be a thing. Does it have glasses too? Oh, it has the shields. The glasses are like my shields. Oh, that's really cute. Now I have to, like, come up with outfits for every ship in the game. Oh my god, that would be hilarious and adorable. And so much work. But I really want to do it. When I become a very wealthy FPL streamer, like when I'm making the, like, the $500,000 a year sort of figure, I will get... 28 different pairs of glasses each one customized for like one of the ships and i will i will change my glasses based on based on which ship i'm playing how much of a win streak are we on like 0 0.8 <laughs> why does cloaking affect asteroid collisions um Just going to ignore that that question was asked and move on. <laughs> Literally a giant donut costume. A burst laser one, the pike beam. Okay. Okay. I see where we're going with this. We could... Well, we'll definitely grab this. Um, the pike beam. Do we want the pike beam? <sighs> pike beam feels a little bit awkward. Everything feels a little bit awkward, though. <laughs> <laughs> 
the entire ship feels a little bit awkward, so maybe that's okay. I'm actually, I think I'm going to buy the shield charge booster as well. I think this is quite nice against the flagship, especially uh, phase two. I think it's a big deal. Have I become a lover of hull beam yet? We did the triple beam one. It was fun. roll like this for a bit. This is Sector 7. I have four more jumps here. Um, or more than that, maybe. Two, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dive. Okay, we have quite a few more jumps here. So we should be able to get the pike online. Uh, we never got mind control. We never got an eighth system. We don't have shields up all the way yet. In general, though, we're looking all right-ish. Glasses are really cute, though. Thanks, War Crimes. A loud thud resounds through the ship after jump completion. No. Gotta stop parking on top of hostile ships. Need to work on that. Okay, so it turns out the secret is just not to do any of the bullshit I've been doing. We just click on their stuff and kill it. That's all I had to do this entire time. Yeah, that's so much easier. God, I, I've been doing so much work and it's been completely irrelevant. All right, nice. What do I think the rock is saying to the human there? Um, I don't think they chat much. I don't think the human knows the rock's in the room. At some point, the human's gonna, like, turn around and it's gonna be very awkward. Well, not anymore, because the human went to the med bay. Highly professional crop of Zephyr, please use. <laughs> <laughs> it is a cute face. I'll see what I can do, Rootful. Where's my cyan headband? More crimes, I just noticed you asking that. I don't know what it means. I don't even really know what color cyan is. Is that like light blue? Metallic blue? I think the rock is doing its mating call while waiting. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> I couldn't... Couldn't write off the possibility. It's raining lasers. Hallelujah. Sand is the color of the stripes on the hull. Oh, I see.
I see what you guys are saying. Teal is darker, but within the aquamarine spectrum. This is this is beyond me. One of the 16 colors that make the world. Leonat! You can't let yourself be trapped inside uh, such a strict delineation of color. I've read some really interesting stuff about how different societies um, like define where one color starts and another begins. I think it actually like affects their eyes or something. I don't know. I don't know. A bio kill? Not with two hull left, right? Oh, uh, maybe a little screw up. Maybe we'll screw up. You can't get out of shields, so if another fire spreads into shields, maybe... Mm, probably not. In some places, the word for green and blue are the same. In the Iliad, they don't have... They don't have, like, blue in the Iliad. Like, the blue that we use for the sky or whatever. They call the sea the wine-dark sea. I don't think we're getting the bio kill. We might. Depends how many engines they have, I guess. Oh, god. Is this actually happening? Nice. Should put the pike online. Let's try it out. It's been a while since I went max weapons on a ship. Wine was blue in ancient Greek times? No. But you know how the sea can be sort of like a darker, more menacing sort of color? I don't know. I'm not ancient Greek. I'm going to level with you here. I'm going to level with you here. I'm not actually an ancient Greek. I might just accept this offer. They have a flak up. Our shields are still fine though. I will not accept surrender. Does Caitlyn know that I'm not an ancient Greek? Caitlyn is looking at you weird, but she's looking at me weird. Uh, <laughs> Deep Sea is more of a dark blue purple. Yeah, exactly. Robert H. Wright and Robert E. D. Catley of Vancouver, British Columbia noted that in their letter that the ancient Greeks seldom took their wine neat. They often diluted it with as much as six or eight parts of water. Groundwater must have been alkaline, perhaps sufficiently so to change the color of the wine from red to blue. Hmm. 
Uh... How much would I gush finding the entire undamaged version of Epic Iliad was a part of? God, so much. That would be incredible. Although it's sort of an imagined thing, because the Iliad was part of a seven epic cycle about the Trojan War, for the most part. And... So the thing is, they were aural works. So you didn't have... There were never, quite possibly, written copies of the other five. And if they were, they're just like... It's like, um... What's a jazz song everybody knows? <sighs> Fuck, I don't know. It's like Take Five by Dave Brubeck. No, that's a terrible example. It's like saying... Okay, here's a good one. It's like saying finding an undamaged recording of the American National Anthem. Like, every time somebody sings that song, the words are the same for the most part, unless they fuck them up. But, like, every singer sings it differently, right? And so the experience of hearing these epics was how the poet was performing differently, and they're even changing the lines, and some of the story elements and plot elements and stuff were getting changed depending on who was performing. So, it's like... It would be really cool just to hear somebody perform the Iliad in the style that it was traditionally performed in. Don't even have to find the other ones. The Greeks were pussies who couldn't drink. Oh, hell no, Findle. That's not true at all. <laughs> That's not how it worked. Um... In some parts and times of ancient Greece, children who died before the age of, like, three, I think, got buried with a little jar. And after some, like... Yeah, uh, the jar was because when they turned... I believe it was three. It might have been four. There was a ceremony where they drank their first alcohol and, like, their little jar was filled up with alcohol so they could drink it because they didn't have, like, a big person alcohol jar. And so the babies who never got that old were actually buried with the jar. That's the level to which getting inebriated was ingrained in Greek culture. Looking three, I think. To turn on engines properly. Don't you want to know what happened in the earlier five epics of the Trojan War? Well, we know the... We know what happened in the rest of the Trojan War because the other Greeks talked about it and wrote about it and stuff. So we generally know the entirety of the cycle. We might not know, like, individual tiny plot points and we certainly don't have it, like, written like a poem for us or whatever. But we, we know the general plot. Oh, I was meant to do this. Whoops. They got the Vulcan coming in, by the way. Last stand. Big person alcohol jar sounds like something you should get. Shouldn't we all? I've got mine right here. What time is it? 5 p.m. Are we having dinner tonight? Hmm. Oh, they're here? I can't even tell. <laughs> um, Old Rasputin is a... Uh, this is a 9% Russian Imperial Stout. I don't... Hmm. I don't know if I should start drinking now or not. Yeah. Then in one of the five epics, the Trojans used a Vulcan. <laughs> 
Sure, why not? I'm, uh, I've read some of Mahabharata and Ramayana. I've read like the Latin epics generally. I need um, Nature of Things, parts of others. I've read lots of bits and pieces of epics. I studied Latin, Greek, and Sanskrit epic, basically. Like that was what I was doing in college. So I know quite a lot about, yeah. Um, <laughs> or at least I knew once and have since forgotten. Rasputin has a bad aftertaste. It sort of does. I agree. It's a bit of a... a bit of a sour... Meh. Yeah, I don't love Rasputin. We've been struggling to find good dark beers um, for sale at the place we were buying beers. Well, Caitlin has. Is that what you're looking at me to say? Also, I don't drink dark beer. Oh. Store, huh? Yeah. Also, Caitlin doesn't drink dark beer, so she doesn't realize that she's doing it wrong. She means well. Got an Irish death fan in chat? Yeah, I like Irish death. Caitlin's parents. Is Irish death still their favorite? I thought they... Oh, they like the mocha from the same brewery, yeah. What is it called? Okay. Mocha death. I think it actually is called mocha death, yeah. Caitlin's parents are very into that brewery. Modern beers taste like ass, categorically. Well, there's a statement that I'm sure everyone can agree with. Uh, <laughs> as you hail the... Look at this slug ship. Look at them. They're like in a little... In a little column. It's cute. Do you think they're dancing? I bet they're dancing. How would slugs dance? Poorly? Probably poorly. We're actually sort of weak to borders. We never did uh, really get the mind control thing sorted out, did we? Please stop killing my weapons, though. God damn it. Dude, he broke my ship! Mantis friend, why? Why do you do this? Okay. I've discovered a reason not to have mantids on weapons. Hey! Matty boy! Ogbomo showed you as well. Thanks very much for four months in a row. It's been so long, huh? Since the open X coming. I'm glad you're enjoying the outfit. I got six subs today already. 
Boom. Boom. We crushed it. Now what do I do? Do I make the number higher? I don't know. They do the worm or do they find that dance highly offensive? Um, I don't, I don't want to try to get into slugs heads. Now that I have achieved my sub goal, what is my main goal? You've never been banned from my chat before, have you? Okay. Banned. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, Leonard. You seem like such a chill and positive person too. And then out of nowhere, you do that to us. <laughs> does my shirt have cloaking? Yeah, this sweater does have cloaking. It's a little bit too close to green. Why did we ban Leonette? Leonette asked, so now you have achieved your sub goal. What is your main goal? Such things cannot be tolerated. What's going on? Oh, we should turn that on. Leave this guy alone, maybe. Close these up? I don't know. Cloak for a while. I think we won. Ooh, our doors are still, like, bad. No! Fuck. Oh, not the backup battery, too. Oh, come on. Don't do me like this. Could get... <laughs> You'd have to do something seriously dumb to earn a full ban from Jorbs. Yeah, I can like people try really hard for me to ban them, but the thing is I just don't care enough about like people who are being assholes to take the time so like you gotta watch out for findle and wait findle's not a mod yeah okay well hmm. but if you offend findle i'm sure he can get in touch with the mods you have to watch out for people like that if you want to be a jerk in my chat and get away with it People who want to make mods are usually control demanding people and they are usually assholes. What do my mods think about that? What are my mods uh What are my mods' opinions on that? Express your opinions perhaps with the ban hammer. <laughs> I won't stop you. <laughs> You make guy. What do you think of the glasses? I feel like the glasses are pretty cool. 
I'm a fan of the glasses. I'm not going to bother with hacking. Too much work. Ooh, I cloaked late there. You might want to bother with hacking. Okay. Ooh, super shield prevented, though. Good. Guys are trying to run, but none of their uh, crew is on piloting. Did I screw up? I missed with the pike beam. Like, I only hit four rooms instead of five. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, probably we're okay. Oh, nice. They pulled to repair again. <laughs> Good night, Uzi. Thanks for stopping by. Good to have you. <laughs> oh god, we're having the conversation about beer not serving any purpose again? <sighs> I don't understand how we can have had that conversation more than once, like ever. It doesn't seem like that good of a conversation. We're losing this beacon, unfortunately. We've got to get to the base before it is destroyed. Let's grab two more reactor power. So we're full power now. And head to the flagship. Wait, where are my buffers? I didn't buffer anything. I sort of buffered stuff. Sort of. What's with that follow, Hubologist? Does that mean we're jumping in with, uh... Oh, hey! Thank you very much for the 500 bits, Skosh. Is Cloaking on cooldown now? Wait, what the fuck happened to my Mantis? Why is my Mantis, like, dead? This is it, the Rebel Flagship. If you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. Thank you very much for the 500 bits, Skosh. Much appreciated. Um, I was in the middle of losing the game, I think? when you donated? What happened to my Mantis exactly? I don't know. We got cloaking at the start of this, fortunately, so we can work out what's going on. I'm gonna run to the bathroom, though, before we play the fight. I'm not sure we can win this one, but maybe we can.
you, Trollzor. How you doing? Thank God there's a break. <laughs> what is happening in my chat? Thanks, Trollzar. I'm pleased with them. Let's crack open a nice little bottle of liquid mud here. Mmm, just slurp that dirt down. Mmm. Mm. I can taste the clays in the soil. Oh, oh, that's a little bit of warm. Just chew on that. Mm. What an odd boy I am. Beautiful. This room is now in emote only mode. Spam some emotes then. <sighs> okay, I've been trying to work out if I want to hack shields or piloting here. I think we'll go shields. I might auto fire. No, that seems bad. Uh, my cloaking is on cooldown, but it shouldn't matter. My mantis is dead. My mantis just died. It's because they boarded and I didn't realize. They also hacked my doors. So now, like, my Zoltan's dead, too? I don't know. This went pretty poorly. On the whole, I would say. Oh dear. Going poorly intensifies. Okay, good salvo. It should be very difficult to lose this phase of the flagship fight. Like, we just tried not to lose any more crew, ideally. Losing fewer hull points than this would be nice as well. Next salvo kills. Does it? Depends if the pike beam gets up or not. <sighs> Unfortunately, that was all of my weapons experience. Just died. So yeah, that's fun. Just dead. What is the name of the bear bridge? I am drinking an old Rasputin Russian Imperial Stout. I'm trying to work out what this aftertaste is like. It's almost like Licorice. What's the taste of licorice called? Fennel? No. What? <laughs> anyway, it's a little bit weird. Does anybody know about weapons? No, we don't have backup. Alright, cool. Well, that was awkward. Phase 2. Coming right up. Phase 2 is drones, so we have to try to get our hack through. We'll wait here for a sec. Anis! That's right. That's right. It's a very dark beer.
Oh, not my weapons. That was sort of nice. We got the power surge and their missiles. Why did we get that? I don't really understand why. Okay, one more cycle of attacks. Our weapons are going down, but not fast enough, I don't think. I guess one more than that, even. Cool. Don't think we took hull damage there. Thanks for the follow, by the way. These are beers 14 to 17 today. Spindle. <laughs> Good grief. Do take care of yourself, Bindle. Cheers to you as well, Trollzorn. I'm going to buffer the something. I don't know. Doors? Buffer doors. That's not even buffering doors. It's just upgrading doors. Sure, we're going to upgrade doors. It sounds good. Reaper, Varen, Findle, and Joe. Wait. Wait, that Mantis was like a named character. Oh no, it was Emma, right? Because I didn't want to... Because it just seemed like her name was Emma and I didn't want to change it. Yeah, I remember that now. <sighs> Stage three. Got to get through the Zoltan shields. Got to hack their scary thing. Dodge some missiles. Cloak their scary thing. Dodge some missiles. I'll deal with mind control on pilot. It's not the best thing for mind control to be on. Why don't I run to like repair my backup battery? That just doesn't seem like the biggest, most important thing in the world right now. Okay, good dodges on that one. The salvo probably, oh nice, my cloaking's up. I don't understand the cloaking timing in this fight at all. It just seems really weird to me every time. That should be a win now. GG! Crushed it. The difference between those missiles hitting vital systems and hitting like empty systems or your backup battery is very large.